Hey guys, this is a little video on installing stainless steel brake lines, front and rear sets. Uh, this set in particular is from Galfer on a Yamaha MT-07, it's a 2019 model. Um, I'm not sure how similar it is to the previous generation. Um, so just some things uh, briefly that I discovered as I'm putting this kit together. This bike was the bike that Galfer used to kind of make their lines and things off of so I didn't have any instructions but they were they told me a little bit about it it's not super difficult as you see the bike you don't need to take all this stuff off what you will need to take off in order to get this line installed is not the entire tank shroud you don't need to take that whole thing off I did that because I was doing the air filter just the right side tank shroud and the uh, and the headlight assembly so there's four bolts one there's one there's a second one here on the on the headlight that you need to take off but that's it so just the right tank shroud and the headlight and you should be good to go um, the wheels off because I did the rotors as well um, as you're going through I would just say pay attention to the way your banjo bolts and things come on the bike. The bend on the lines are already pretty good. You don't have to mess with them a lot. Um, just pay attention. So like you have a, a straight fitting here. You have a couple of curved fittings here. The one on the right side is straight. The, the line coming off of the master cylinder is bent. So I'm going to kind of go over this real quick. So coming off the front master cylinder you have a uh, straight banjo bolt fitting here it'll come down it goes behind throttle cables from behind the throttle cables coming in front of the top triple that single line will go to the ABS pump and the line coming from the master cylinder is the one that goes more towards the middle of the bike the second line that comes off of it is the one that goes to the calipers. So you have this line here, it'll run in between the fork, through this clamp here. This is where it joins up with the ABS sensor line. Um, run this through the, the pre-existing clamps that your uh, stock lines were through. The stock lines went through. I tr was able to reuse almost all of these clips. I'll try to get it to focus. I was able to reuse all of these clips keep everything nice and tidy from there it'll run down again that line coming um, out of the ABS out of the ABS pump or module will be the line that goes to the outside from there this is this will be a double banjo bolt I need to get one of those on the inside the one with the straight fitting this is the one that will loop over and go to your right side caliper again with another straight fitting That one wasn't too difficult. I think the the rear was a little more difficult to install, but not terribly. Uh, so this fitting, or this metal plate here, I found it easiest just to take that off and it'll give you full access to everything behind here. So coming off of your uh, rear master cylinder here, just a short uh, set of line that will go here. Um, you have to use the this will be their fittings and you just use the existing uh, ABS, the hard steel lines from here. This will run back to the ABS module and when it comes back it will go to this fitting here, the one that's more towards the middle of the bike. And then that will run through again all of the, all of the existing clamps all the way back to the rear uh, brake caliper. For this part right here, uh, this was probably the most tricky part, and I'll, I'll show you why. On the stock brake lines, uh, you have this bolt that, so picture, this is the one that's more towards the middle of the bike. This is the longer one going to the rear brake caliper. Um, this, this guy here threaded into this piece there's a bracket uh, 
this bracket right here. I don't know, it might be hard to discern. But this little bolt went through the bracket and threaded into here. The little blocks that come from Galfer aren't threaded. So what I had to do was just using a box of generic metric bolts and things, took one of these long bolts, ran it through, put it through the bracket, and then just use a, a nylon nut on the back. And I don't think that should go anywhere. So again, just a couple little things that I found um, in case you guys needed uh, another diagram or reference for the routing of the lines. Again, all you need to take off is the right tank shroud and the headlight. And that was it. All in all, uh, not a, a terribly difficult installation. Just got to pay attention to where things are going. The last thing I will do when the bike is off of the stands and uh, for any brake line installation when make sure you're able to turn the bars full to full lock either direction make sure that nothing's binding up uh, nothing should be tight or have too much tension on it um, that's it that's all i got and then as far as bleeding goes as far as i can tell for the abs bike it's similar to a non abs uh, sport bike track here has a great reference videos for bleeding brakes and things so that's all i got for you thanks bye